Good morning everyone. Right, I did say I'll come back and show you how to make the room divider. Um, well, we'll have a bash at it. I have actually made them before. <coughs> now what I've done is I've taken some chipboard. You can do uh, foam board, but this was just scrap that I, uh, I use up as much as I can. And it's easy to use it in tutorials. So what I've done is I've taken um, my ruler. So they're four centimetres wide. And I've done two at, well, you can say 10 centimetres long. And then one at, I think it's 12, yeah, 12 centimetres. So you're four centimetres wide by 10, four centimetres wide by 12. And then what I'm going to do, mine with paper. I could use fabric if I wanted to, but I've got this beautiful vintage paper that I'm going to use and um, so I can clear my desk of any lumps and bumps now what I'm going to do is just glue these onto here but leaving a gap in between because we do want to manoeuvre the sorry we do want to let's just do this so I'm just getting it in position uh, change my glue sticks because these are just mad so a uh, larger one in the middle and leave a gap and this is just going to fit there oops um that should do that that was a bit silly wasn't it fee <sighs> <laughs> don't worry about it i'm not i forgot about that but that's going to be cut off so that doesn't matter now you leave it about five millimeters gap and then i'm just going to chop that off for now Just cut this one. Okay. Oops, it is it. Glue stuck everywhere. Yeah, the birds. Love hearing the birds on the morning. Um, yeah, and so what I'm gonna do is cut around there, but then as I hit that, just continue going around there. And then we go drop ourselves back onto that one. Yeah. And say so don't worry about that little bit on the top. So we've got that, and then what you're going to do is do exact same thing again. And all you have to do is just to glue that onto there. So let's get this the right way around. As long as it fits, you'll be fine. Just check, yep, yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to continue going around that. Follow that around. Like that. Now, I'm not bothered about the edges because we can sort those out and you can colour them any colour you want. Um, I sometimes do my edges with pens, it's a lot easier, or a thin paintbrush. Right, like I say, I'm not fussed about this section at all. In fact, I'm going to cut that down so that it's all matching. Okay, so like I said, we've got that. Now what we're going to do is just pin the rest of this on. Like that. It's not going to go anywhere once you... You don't have to glue it, you know. Perhaps you can do that. 
like that. That'll do. Now, take a stylus. Well, I wouldn't. Just bend it. You want one one way. And then, of course, you want one the other way. Like that. See? And you've made yourself a little um, thingy-bob. What's my call it? But this is all going to be glued in, so don't worry about it at all. So all you do now is take your glue gun. I mean, you can do it with normal, uh, you know, like um, normal glue. Just if that's what you want to do, do it that way. But I just do it like this because you can't see. You can't, you know, doesn't make a difference. It doesn't hurt or anything like that you do have to make sure that it's all glued that's the only thing so i just do that and then when you get your trims on it's fine there we go we've got one so now what i'm going to do is uh decorate it now i've got this little trim it's beautiful uh vintage and for the life of me i can't think of where i bought it I found it somewhere and I thought, oh wow, what gorgeous, gorgeous trim. The only thing is, when you're working with paper, it dries pretty quick. So you've got to work fast. So what I do is, I don't do too many bits at once. It's not, um, just do half inch at once or something like that. See? And I'm just gathering that little bit. I've got um, blackbirds just outside not blackbirds um yeah blackbirds i think they are outside and they're gorgeous but uh and i saw my first robin again uh, i mean i saw one a couple of weeks ago they're quite early where i am and then it disappeared but it's actually back so i was quite chuffed with that you Peel it back if you've not done it quite quick enough. And don't forget where you've got the gap. You don't really want to be gluing that bit, you know, too much. I skip over it. Let's just make sure we've got this. Like that. And you do get clogged up with glue, but hey, it's fun fun best part of it see how pretty that looks and I just cut that and then I've got this little braid which I'm no it's too much <laughs> too much looks well with the colours it's one I've been using lighter Just seal that in. So we're just gonna put that on there. Move your scissors, feet. Again, don't be working um, in too many inches. You know, you just need to do a few inches at a time. Now, I'm just going to quickly take that around the corner by just holding on and twist. See, if you hold on to it and then twist it, you get that um, leverage in it that you need so you don't make a mess of it. Okay. Just follow the paper around. Like that. And thank you everybody for your comments. They're amazing comments that I've had. And um, I'm just waiting to hear back from that uh, chap, Carl, uh, from the magazine. I don't know what they'll think, but hopefully they'll like. That's it. 
you see isn't that cute and then what i've got is um these little cameos i should have put the paper on a bit tighter than that but hey when it's stuck down firmly you're not going to see it And uh, I don't even know where I got these from. I just have to leave that. Actually, I don't think they're sticking. No. I'm gonna, just going to add a touch of glue because it's a lot easier. <laughs> it doesn't matter that it's mixed with the other. It'll work. Hopefully they'll work. Just notice there's no black on the bottom of that. I wonder if I can blacken that up a little bit. Because that'll bug me now, you see. It will. It'll just bug the life out of me. There you go. A little bit better. <laughs> and um, there you go. And that's how you can do them. And then like you can drape your clothes over and and whatever. I could um like that. It will stand when you've glued it in, obviously, but oh and do the edges. Just sort the edges out. Um which you can put a little bit of braid on that, it won't matter. Or colour it, whichever you want to do. But that's how you do them. Um, I hope that's helpful. Um, I want to... Right, if you make any miniatures, please, 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 send pictures in to me. Let's show some of our makes. And um, let everybody see what we... You know, we all join in on here. It's been a good channel. 90% of the time. <laughs> oh, well. Hey -oh. But... Um, you know, we've had some really good followers. Uh, I've had some that's followed me from day one, which is about seven years. Uh, I can tell by the comments that's been coming in over the miniatures that I've been doing and, and other projects as well, that there are a lot of people still out there watching and I do appreciate that. And um, don't forget to call at the shop and get your little bits and bobs, God. And we're going to have some more sales. And today I'm going to be doing some kits and they'll be sold on here so that I'm going to film them so you can actually see what's in them. And it will be first come first serve, but you won't want to miss them. Lots of nice goodies in them, laces and whatever. I've got to, you know, reduce some of this down now we've moved back home. And uh, there you go. I might, oh, do you know, I might just finish this off now. <laughs> oh. I'm going to finish it off and put it up for sale, I think. If anybody's interested in this, let me know. Well, no, I'm going to put it on the shop, and then that gives everybody a fair whack at it. I will make sure all that's pinned down. Don't worry about it. It'll be perfect. There we go. There, nice neat finish. How was that? Lovely, lovely. Pull it back a bit. Let's 
So like I say, if anybody's wanting this, you will find it on the shop. Please run along and have a look for your uh, crafting goodies. You know, I mean, we've got some great bargains on at the moment and, and, um, it just supports the uh, tutorials and keeps them going. Which is what it's all about, isn't it? Oops, it is it. I don't do it like some people think for the um, to earn a uh, money although this is my living I do it to help crafters and in order for me to teach I have to be able to buy my stuff and there's nothing wrong with the shop so that before any gossip starts oh my it does <laughs> that's what happens hey look lovely so that will be in the shop what i will do if somebody buys that they will get the rest of the paper in case they want to make something else to go with it okay and uh, thanks for watching take care and i'll speak to you all soon